you bailed up your ass. Shut it, or I'll lock you both up. What's the problem? Fuck, another non-human. You're everywhere. Silence. Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chore. You willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be done, you friend. Now just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two pricks. They share a warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who sick the ghoul or the strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. So what'll it be, would ya? Fine. I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan... I didn't get a good look at the mug, but now you mention it, it could very well be. Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. Ah! ah. anywhere alone. Why deep print? A dwarf? Someone kept it in a cage. Hmm. Bars were sawed through. That's why it escaped. So, you take care of the beast. Yes. I knew Iron Witch would be quickest. So figure out how it got in there. Found a cage. Someone had kept the necker in it. Bars had been sawed through, though. So someone wanted it to escape. Which one of them did it? Think it was the dwarf. What? Rubbish! Tripe! Why the hell would they do that? Seems plausible this racist got under your skin. That's enough. Here's your pay. And you, come with me. Can't wait to watch him swing. Someone will have to lift him onto the stool. Witcher Geralt. Get in here. Boss awaits upstairs. You bloody tell us what this is about. Just as Ooh. soon as Geralt arrives. Should he arrive? If you want a barren talk, the least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspension made my throat drop. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Uh, not up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it! I have an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo! Bloody bravo! Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovid's hired you to find Philippa? You're nosy. Starting to piss me off, you know? I know. Forgive me. It comes with the job. No. You're not a spy anymore. Remember? Chose the life of a criminal. No. That choice was made for me. Philippa forced me to flee Redania. Radovid prevented me from returning. Dijkstra, infernally sad story. Really fucking tugs at the art strings. But do you mind getting back to the matter at hand? Yes, right. Geralt, be so kind as to answer the question. 
he give you the contract or not? Mm -hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout, somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men, post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deekstra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. About as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kid. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just round the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. The bridge must be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Don't they bloody congregate when they see the fight? Philippa? What the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Radovid's lost his mind. Doesn't think rationally anymore. That's why. That is why he may very well choose to torture you, even if you brought me to him in chains. Just because. Philippa, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. You choked to death on three pounds of steam. Witcher Geralt, what do you want? An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me, like the others. What others? Uh, you see, 
A rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Isleheart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it, shower him with gold. I had him blinded, then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt. Claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh, and I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Well, where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. You don't know where Philip is hiding. Not exactly without me. Fret not. We'll manage. Naturally, it would be easier with your help, but you irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow me. Any last words? Free the Witcher, then Radovid. gone to hell. So be it. We'll improvise. Follow me, Geralt. We must get to Radovid before reinforcements arrive. No! 
closer. Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. That settles the score. And that was from the heart. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Radovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Well, what? Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Temeria. Temeria! Bloody Temeria! Sure this isn't premature. Radovid's dead, but it's a long way from that to a free Temeria. War's not over, not even close. You're mistaken. Tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes. I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovid's head and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Temeria. Which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and armies. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I'd say were I a poet. But I'm not, so all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Haven't told me the whole truth. You're right on that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics, decided to emphasize mages and whatnot. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, 
Act One, Scene Seven. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilf Guardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own, I've... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. Talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plow in war to win. Haven't got the time to clean gutters. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. 
He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'd try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Redania. Ah. Oh, will you buy a round for a victim of the beast? Tell me about the monster, how you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. See, I'd rather you stayed sober while we talked. Bought yourself that bottle later. Have it your way. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. But I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. It was dark. Couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the end of my skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! His Majesty King Rabbit is a stern ruler. <laughs> hey, pretty boy. What do I gotta do? The bracelet, pretty worn. Silver under the gilding, too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it, most likely. Well, the witcher. like to see the monster's victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. They're every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire bites and the strong stench of alcohol. Just like the other one. Fondness for jewelry, wounds on the victim's bodies, everything suggests a catacan. Except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. Long live Radovid! Son of you miserable. Do you? Fuck. Oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass, or did your enterprise go under? Neither, just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. And keep it coming.
old method for Once was a maid from the vicar of our own. Tight at night, she'd be loose come morrow. Early in the morning, another maid from Vicar Varro, loud with pleasure, drank with sorrow till early in the morning. Catacan didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. All the easy to find witches already, and I could use a quickie. Our third maid was not demanding, gave it up to any man standing, her lie in the morning. What's the meaning of this? Such rudeness and vulgarity, young people these days. All right, all right. Sheesh. Long live I sense your blood. Come out and fight, bitch. I shall drink your blood. Come on, cut the shit. Here I am. Over here. to death on three pounds of steel. Hmm. Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true. But what on earth's a catacan? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. So long.
Earth Ages. Great. Soul in sight. Something evil's been here. Necrophage has appeared after. Gut sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. First cut severed the aorta. Second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly. Didn't put up a fight. Blade pierced her back, between vertebrae, severed her spinal cord, she couldn't move, bled to death. Necrophages tore the body apart, can't say what killed him though. Sword wounds. Somebody's well off. Especially for Velen. A Leshen's head. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Cuts. Shallow. But each hit an artery. Close quarters. Pitchfork. Dangerous weapon at close quarters. Blood. Mixed with something. That smell. Alcohol. Earthball. The wolf's bane. A potion. Arm severed above the elbow. With one blow. Imperial mustache. Plump cheeks. Important man. Cause of death, stab wound. Blade between the ribs, straight to the heart. Holding something. Silver chain, snapped. Ripped it off someone. Shit. Stop. A doll. And a child's footprints. Gotcha. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Killer! Murderer! I got it wrong. I'm... You've cow eyes! Same as him! Same as... Did he have two swords on his back? No telling you nothing! Go away! Huh. This doll yours, maybe? It is. He got a name? Master Freckleface. Hmm. 
pretty. Give him to me, please. Doubt Master Freckleface would be much help on the path, so here. Now, think you could tell me what happened here? I need to know. Oh, Woods. They was haunted. Some spook. Uncle Silvermere said we'd best fetch a witcher. See so one came. Look, lots like you. But... There were evil in his eyes. He bought the spook's headset. Uncle Silvermere went up about something. They yelled and they cursed. And then, he went to the barn, and, and... <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Think I know the rest. He let me go. I don't know why. And then, he went that way, towards the circle where we leave gifts for the gods. I hid in the barn. Found this light in the A. School of the Cat. Thanks. You've been a big help. What'll you do? Got any family around here? Miati Lives in Orton. I'll take you to her. But first I gotta see to this bad man. Stay put and keep quiet. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If you went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. The stone circle. Need to look around. Palm print. In blood. Had his hand on his wound. Slipped and leaned on his hand to catch his balance. Footprints. Barely visible. Must be him. Something. Come all that way to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? I want to chat first. Then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on. You know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Not in the mood for guessing games. I knew you were no fun the minute I saw you. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell. But that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. 
Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn, so's the Baron's men wouldn't take it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. I fell for it, like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. So you decided to massacre the whole village? What would you have done? Gone to the local magistrate to file a complaint? I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties, to the cheating, to them begging me for help and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect Horsons like that? So I drew steel. And didn't sheathe it till the ground was slick with blood. The girl. Why'd you spare her? Cause... Uh, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't... talk. Reminded me of my sister. How I remember her from... Just before they took me away to the school of the cat. How is she now? Died about ten years ago. Of old age. Well, we've had our little heart to heart. Witcher to Witcher. What now? Ultimately, it's not my job to judge you. That's it? Not gonna lecture me? Make me promise to mend my ways? They call me the Butcher of Blaviken, for good reason. I know how it is. Sometimes... Sometimes heads just roll. Wait. I'm no cheap prick like those hayseeds. I owe you something. Here, directions to my stash. Take what you want. Thanks. No, thank you. Good luck on the path, Wolf. Get back to the kid before something else sniffs her out. Promise not to pull my hair. I promise. Then hop on up. Auntie! Auntie Lucy! Millie, what are you doing here, you naughty girl? I. Cause. Back in the village. There's no. I'll explain. You run along and play a bit, alright? There was a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? You could say that. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. Funny. Used to be folk were afraid we'd take their kids. Used to be folk weren't so in need. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six. 
but we buried two last winter. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Take this. Use it for food, and only food. If I come back and see you drinking. So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. Time I was on my way. No? But... but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? I do. I... I have a gift for you. Cause... Mummy always said, if someone's nice, you gotta thank them. If only more people believed that. I best be going. Auntie says I'm not to stray far from home. Wise words. Be careful. And thanks for the gift. Too. 